morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, today we're going to talk about mycosis for health section. Uh, a mycosis is a fungal infection occurring uh, in animals and humans. Uh, mycosis are common and a variety of environmental and physio physiological conditions can contribute to its development. Uh, inhalation of fungal spores or localized colonization of the skin may initiate persistent infections and therefore mycosis often uh, start in the lungs or in the skin. Skin fungal infections were classified as one of the most common diseases affecting uh, about 985 million people all over the planet. Uh, but first things first, keep in mind that individuals being treated with antibiotics are at high risk of fungal infections. In addition, subjects presenting a weakened immune system are also at risk, such as uh, HIV or uh, AIDS, uh, people under steroid treatments, or chemotherapy uh, patients. Also, people with diabetes tend to develop uh, fungal infections much uh, more often than uh, uh, healthy patients and healthy people. Other groups at risk are very old people. Mycoses are classified according to the tissue levels uh, that they initially colonize. There are superficial mycoses that are limited to the outmost layers of the skin and hair. Uh, a good example is the Tinea versicolor, which is a fungus infection that commonly affects the skin of younger people, especially the chest, the back, the upper arms and legs. This fungus produces spots that are either lighter uh, than the skin or even reddish brown. This fungus exists in two forms. Uh, one of them causing uh, visible spots, uh, while the other uh, is less visible. Uh, factors causing the fungus to become more visible include high humidity, as well as immune or hormone abnormalities. Uh, however, almost all people with this very common condition are healthy. Now we have cutaneous mycosis, which spread deeper uh, into the epidermis and also include invasive hair and nail diseases which are restricted to the keratinized laser layer of skin, hair and nails. Unlikely, uh, well, the, unlike the superficial, um, the superficial mycosis which we just reported, the host immune responses may be evoked resulting in pathological changes expressed in the deeper layers. Uh, and the organisms that cause this disease are called dermatrophytes. The resulting diseases are uh, defined a ringworm, uh, even though there is no worm uh, involved in the process, or uh, tinea. Cutaneous mycosis are caused by microsperm or, or, tri or trichophyton uh, and also epidermophyton. Uh, this fungi, uh, or fungi actually, uh, together can comprise over 41 species. Uh, one common disease is the atle foot, uh, which most commonly affects children before the puberty. Uh, it is divided in three categories, chronic interdigital atlas foot, chronic scaly atlas foot, and acute vesicular atlas foot. Now, going on, we have subcutaneous mycosis, which involve the dermis, the subcutaneous tissues, muscle, and fascia. This infectious uh, disease are chronic and can be initiated by person trauma to the skin, which allows the fungus to enter. And then, these infections are difficult to treat and may require surgical interventions, such as debridement. In addition, uh, we have systemic mycosis due to primary uh, pathogens, which originate primarily in the lungs and may spread uh, to many uh, organ systems. Organisms that cause systemic myco mycosis are uh, inherently virulent. Differently, uh, systemic mycosis due to opportunistic pathogens are infections of patients uh, presenting immune deficiencies uh, who would otherwise not be infected. Uh, for example, clinical conditions such as AIDS or alteration of normal flora by antibiotics, immunosuppressive therapy, or uh, metastatic cancer. Some examples of opportunistic, opportunistic mycosis uh, include uh, the candidas, uh, cryptococcus, and aspergillosis. How do we prevent fungal infection? Well, number one, keeping the skin as dry as possible. Uh, and maintaining good hygiene. 
because fungal infections are contagious, uh, it is important to wash after touching other people or animals. Uh, and also sports clothing uh, should be washed immediately after use. How do we treat the infections? Well, we have antifungal, antifungal drugs, antifungal pills. These are the primary pharmacological device that is usually used in these uh, situations. Depending on the nature of the infection, a, a topical or systemic agent may be used. Now, here are some examples of, of antifungals. We have fluconazole, which is the basis of many over-the-counter antifungal treatments. We also have amphotericin B, which is more potent and used in the treatment of the most severe fungal infections, showing resistance to other forms of treatment, and it is administered intravenously. Drugs to treat the skin infections are actually the azoles, such as the ketoconazole, itraconazole, or terbinafine, or others. Another common uh, case of fungin invasion is the vaginal yeast infections, uh, which is caused by candida albicans. Uh, this uh, can be treated with theoconazole suppositories, whereas skin yeast infections are treated with uh, medicating ointments. I hope this video uh, has been helpful in some way. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact me uh, on my email address at raf.pilla at gmail.com. Again, raf.pilla at gmail.com. Thank you for watching.